Yo, 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 what is going on Facebook? Let us know where you're coming in from as you're jumping on. As promised, I'm coming to you live every single Tuesday with something to chew on. And for those that have been tuning into the last three uh, lives that I've done, I've talked about basic number one, basic number two, basic number three. And this week we're talking about basic number four. So to recap, we got number one. When it comes to your success, there's basically some basics. Okay, so there's basically some basics that, uh, you know, the conscious competence, the people that are getting the results that they want consciously, right, they, they, they know these things. Okay, so the first one is obviously defining what you want. That's the first key. Okay, when the why is, when, when the, when the why is clear, the how is easy. Okay, when, when, you, when the why is clear, the how will reveal itself, the how will become easy. All right, most people don't know what they want. Okay, so think about what they want, that's, that's, that's the first step, number one. What do you want? The second thing you need to get in place, right, which is basically the first basic of success, is who do you listen to? Who are you listening to when it comes to, you know, your goals and dreams? Who are you going to for advice? Uh, hope, hopefully you are going to someone um, who's getting the results that, that you want. Um, it could be money, it could be it could be health and fitness, it could be relationships. I don't know what that is for you, but you, that's what that that that's for you to decide. All right, so 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 that's the first basic. Who do you listen to? The second one was the teachability index. That is your willingness to learn times by your willingness to change. Okay, your willingness to learn times by your willingness to accept change. Now, now a lot of people are willing to learn. A lot of people are watching these lives. Uh, but that, but but not a lot of people are willing to change. Okay, see, people's feet will show you what they want, not people's words, not people's uh, uh, you know intentions. Okay, people's are, are, are leaders. What they do is they they watch people's feet. They watch people. Um, they they see what they do because a lot of people say they want more, but they're not willing to accept change. All right, because their teachability index is quite low. So that's the second one. The third one. Is the training balance scale? It's understanding that it's understanding that success has a balance to it, right? As a balance, uh, let's say one, one to ten percent is is physical. One to ten percent is physical, and ninety to ninety nine percent is actually spiritual. It's actually something which is you know it's thoughts, it's the dreams, it's the th it's the feelings, it's the emotions. You right? It, what, it, so 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 that's that's the training balance scale. So number four is the process of time. Okay, number four is the process of time because there's four stages to the time. Okay, so you, the first one is you're an unconscious incompetent. That's the first, that's the first step. This bit, this is when you don't even know that you don't know. You know, one of the quotes is you can't escape from a prison if you don't know you're in one. Okay, you can't escape from a prison if you don't know you're in one. It's actually one of the reasons why I'm doing, why I'm doing these lives right now, why I've done these four, these, these four weeks of lives is because when I first heard this information, right, I went from being an unconscious incompetent to all of a sudden I was a conscious incompetent. Okay, I was aware of why I wasn't getting the results I was getting. I was aware as well of why I was getting the same results week after week, month after month, year after year. I was living the same year over and over again. And what happened was I realized that I looked around me and I was listening to the wrong people. Okay, I was listening to the wrong people. So the first basic was gone. Okay, in fact, I didn't even have a goal. I didn't have a goal. Um, that's why I'm doing these videos. Okay, set yourself a goal. Okay, so you've got unconscious incompetent. Then it goes to conscious incompetent. Now you know you don't know. Now you know you don't know. They say to defeat the enemy, you have to know the enemy. So, you know, you have to sort of get, to, you know, understand, okay, cool, this is why I'm here. This is why I've been getting these results. Okay, now I know that I don't know. Okay, then you go to conscious competent. And guess what? You always want to stay in the conscious competent mode. Okay, because what you're going to do is you're going to flicker from the conscious competent to the, to the next step, um, and which is which is actually unconscious competent. So you've got unconscious incompetent. You've got conscious incompetent, right? You've got, you've got what's going on, child? What's going on, Stacey? You've got conscious competent, and then you've got unconscious competent. All right, so this is when you're, you, you sort of it, it's habitual. It's habitual. You can you, you can, can sort of you can sort of relate it to driving. So when you're driving, 
um, you know, as a, as, as a young as a young child, you're sort of not even aware that you can't drive. You, it's just something that adults do, right? But as you grow up, you start to become aware. Oh, okay, cool. I understand that I can't drive now. Okay, so you've gone from uncom unconscious incompetent. You don't even know that you don't know. Then you've got, okay, cool, conscious incompetent. Now I'm aware that I can't drive. Okay. Now, when you get to the age of 17 here in the UK, you start to become a conscious competent. You start having lessons. Okay. You start driving. You start driving. It's very uncomfortable. But over time, guess what? Guess what happens? You become an unconscious competent, right? So it means that now you can drive and you, you, sometimes you even forget how you got home, right? You Sometimes you forget how you get to destinations. You can, you can, you know, I mean, you shouldn't really do it, but people use their phones while they're driving. You know, they're, they're, all, they're, all, they're all, you know, they're all over the place. They're, they're making phone calls, etc. That's called unconscious. We're going to stay. See, that's called unconscious, unconscious, competent. That's where you want to get to. Okay, so what I've done in these four video series, I basically give you everything you need to know. No, if there's someone out there, if there's someone watching this video right now that 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 doesn't like what they're doing, if there's someone out there right now that isn't isn't as confident as they want to be, if there's someone watching this right now that that you know wants to quit their job, if there's someone out there right now that wants to you know clear their debt, if there's someone out there right now that wants to get in good shape, right? What I've done is sorry about that. What I've done is I've gave you the four basics that you need to follow, okay? And it's going to be your teachability index which determines where you're going to be. See, a lot of people start these journeys of personal development and they go in and out and they go in and out. And what they do is they blame things other than themselves for why they're not getting the results. If you're taking notes, you want to write this down. Be addicted to the process, not the outcome. Be addicted to the process not the outcome. You have to fall in love with becoming a conscious competent. I'm going to get better. I'm going to, I'm not going to wish things were easier. I'm going to wish I were better. I'm not going to wish things were easier. I'm going to wish I were better. I'm going to start getting good and start and stop trying to be lucky. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to stop meditating on my goals and dreams. and I'm going to start working on my goals and dreams. Okay. Because there's no one out there that's successful that meditated them, their way into that success. It never happened. And it breaks my heart when people read, where is it? People read this book, right? They read the book, The Secret, right? They read this book and they think, yeah, man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to manifest something through the letterbox. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think my way to the top. No, 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 no. That's just the start. That's just the start. This has to be, this has to be on lock, right? You have to have the right thoughts. You have to be thinking the right thoughts, but you have to match it up with action. Because I've just, I've just, I've just actually shared it on a call with the team, and I said, you, you, you see, see, awareness is different to knowledge. Awareness is different to, to, to gathering information. You see, imagine when you're washing up, right, and you've got that sponge, and it's wet. And, and, and what you need to do is you need to you need to drain out the sponge, drain the water out of the sponge so we can actually attain more water. That's like our minds. If you're jumping on these videos, if you're reading the books, you know, reading Think and Grow Rich, reading The Secret, you're reading all these books, but you're not applying them. You're not teaching other people. You're not you're not going out there and, and genuinely taking action. You're not in a law of attraction business. You're not even in a position to even attract what you want. You're not you're not you're not doing what the book's saying. You're not doing it. You just you're just thinking it. You're not doing it right. What what you're doing is you're never releasing what needs to be released for you to attain more awareness. Awareness is different to knowledge. I hope this is making sense. The more you give, the more you make room for. The more you give, the more you attract. But you have to give first. There's so many people out there that are looking to get something before they give something. You have to give. It could be an, it could be investing into yourself. You know, it could be working out in the gym. You, 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 I mean, if I, listen, if I met someone, right, who was actually thinking that we're going to get in good shape before giving themselves to the gym, before giving themselves, giving themselves, you know, to, to, to the bench press, to the squat rack, like, Come on, man. You're going to think he's absolutely crazy. So why do we do it with our goals? Why do we try and manifest things through the letterbox, right? Instead of going out there and claiming it for ourselves. You have to become a conscious competent with this information. You can't just say, yeah, man, Jake said, who do we listen to? And then you jump off this live and you speak to your spouse who is earning the same amount of money as you. And you ask them advice on how to make more money. You can't say, Jake said... Who do I listen to? 
and then you go to your, a family member who's overweight and you say, do you know what? I'm thinking about doing this program, this health and fitness program. What, you know, what do you think? You can't go, you can't hear, you can't hear Jake say, who do you listen to? And then go to someone who's single and say, listen, I'm having some problems with my relationship. Can you give me advice? <laughs> I hope I'm making sense, man. I hope this is making sense because before this information, I was making sense of nonsense. I was making sense of nonsense. You know what I was doing? Someone presented me a business. Someone, someone presented me an opportunity. And I go to people that, are, that, that, that have jobs, that are trading their time for money, and I'd say, hey, listen, what do you think about this opportunity? And the thing is, they, 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 don't, they can give me an opinion, not advice. You know, I used to go to, I, I, you know, Bob Proctor says, if you want to get good at golf, quit golf with your friends. What does he mean by that? He means put yourself in an environment of people that are better than you. Better than you. If you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. Okay, so I sort of got off on a tangent on this one, right? But the fourth basic is the process of time. Time is Time serves you. Time is serving you. Time stands for things I must experience. Things I must experience. That's what time actually stands for. So you need you need to understand that time is serving you. Because a lot of people are asking for something. And when if you got that tomorrow, would you be able to handle the responsibility? If you got that tomorrow, would you be able to would you be able to handle that responsibility? Would you be able to do that? How would you how 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 would you how would you feel, right? How would you feel? You have to grow into a certain individual. You have to show the universe that you deserve it. Show. Show. Showing is a movement. Showing is a movement. All right. Law of attraction, the last six letters. What's it, you know, you tell me what's the last six letters. What's the, what are the last six letters in law of attraction? You tell me. You tell me. All right. So for those that have ordered the hoodies, that they're, they're in, they're, they're being sent out tomorrow. Uh, we've got a lot of orders coming in for next week as well, which is, which is amazing. Um, look. The, one of the biggest things which changed for me was reading the self-confidence formula every single morning. The self-confidence formula every single morning. And if you're on this line right now and you're looking at how to grow your confidence, how to start, you know, how to start really, really, you know, taking things to the next level, you want to be reading the self-confidence formula every single morning. If you haven't got one of these, if you haven't got the self-confidence formula, go go to the uh, Bulletproof Mindset, the official BPM Facebook group. The link is in my bio. I will also put it in the caption of this video. Um, if you've taken anything from what I've said, please share it on your page. Please tag people. Do that. That's an act. Okay, you are going to attract something else by giving out good. That's what I do. I like to share. I like to share videos. I like to share content with people that I believe is going to that it help me, and I believe it's going to help others. All right, because when you help others get what they want, you're going to get what you want. All right, so please like it, love it, share it. Um, you know, join the group, invite people to the group, download that self-confidence formula, read it every single morning. And I promise you right now, with the process of time, with the process of time, you know, conscious competent, eventually things will start to manifest in your life and you're going to come to understand that I would, this information is the truth. Because you don't want to get to the point where, wow, you know, five years down the line and you're living the same life. Because nothing stays the same. Nothing stays the same. You're either growing or dying, creating or, dis or, or, or disintegrating, climbing or sliding. Nothing stays the same. If you don't believe me, just cut your hair, watch what happens. Cut the grass, watch what happens. Okay, it's understanding the laws of nature. You have to, you have to, have to be growing, otherwise you are going to be shrinking. But that, how do you grow? Set a goal that you can grow into. Set a goal that you can grow into. All right, I love you all. It's been Tuesdays. I hope this has given you something to chew on. Um, if you want to watch these videos back without scrolling through the, uh, the, the the massive news feed, I'm uploading them to the, the official BPM YouTube channel. Check it out. Like, subscribe. I love you all. Let's have a good week. All right.